These are your work boots after a year in the oil field. Any questions? If you watch any of the uh, woodworking, metalworking, the maker space community or the makers of YouTube, you'll see they all have one thing in common and that is they all promote Carolina boots. They all say that these are wonderful. These are the best around. Their full-time job is YouTube and to be in a, an enclosed workshop where you're on concrete floors and you know the worst thing is my boots get a little dusty. I'm not getting rained on out here. I'm not stepping in salt water and acid and mud. And their motto is built for work. So I literally emailed these guys and I said, hey, look, I see you all around YouTube. I see you sponsoring these makers. And like I said, I love that they're doing it because they're allowing these very talented individuals to create the content they want to create. But your slogan is built for work. That's not a tough environment. Could these boots truly hold up to a tradesperson wearing them every day? They said, hell yes they can and they let me pick out a pair of boots to try way i realized that this style of work boots isn't everybody's cup of tea but in the oil field and especially down here at the south this is what a grown ass man wears to work so this isn't going to be a review of these boots because i've only had these boots for two weeks yes i have been wearing them and i'm going to tell you about a few features of them but this is more to prep you for what's to come. First of all, let's take a look at them in comparison to my old boots. First off, you can tell some, some pretty glaring differences in my opinion, but of course these have been used for a year, so they're gonna look a whole lot rougher than these are going. I wanted to definitely get a picture side by side because the deal I made with Carolina was I would show off these boots and then I'm going to take care of them the same way I would take care of these boots. And my routine maintenance was about every three months, I would wipe them down and toothbrush them, all the dirt out of the seams and stuff with water. Then I would come back with mink oil so I could rehydrate the leather and waterproof them again. I'm going to do the same thing to these Carolina boots. And what you're gonna see in the next year, I'm gonna come back in six months, I'm going to put a actual review of what I think of these boots then we're gonna come back in a year and compare the two and we're gonna see if these Carolina boots held up as well as these Ariots because they are the same amount of money this is $189 before taxes these are $189 before taxes now let's take a quick look at the key differences between these two boots now you can see these are a year old, so the composite toe is already showing through. I'm very curious if Carolinas will do the same thing, because many of my other boots have done it in the past. You can also see that these Ariots have a single stitching around the entire boot. Whereas when we get to the Carolina boots, they are double stitched around the entire front half of the boot. Now right about the halfway mark, right before the heel, you'll see that they switch to a single stitch right around the back of it. Now, no matter what brand of boots I've ever had, they always crack right behind the ball on my foot where they flex a lot when you're walking. And as soon as they do this, you will never have waterproof boots again. It's just impossible. I've tried everything to remedy it. If we look at the inside of the air, it's, we can see that it's pretty bare bones, just plain leather. Now, this is pretty rough when you're trying to break in a new pair of boots. There's no kind of padding. It's rough on the ankles. You will get sores, but after a few months, that tends to go away. On contrast, when we look at the Carolinas, there's a nice thin layer of padding, but I am predicting that this extra padding is gonna make these boots a little bit hotter, and in the Texas heat, that might not be a good thing. Now, after a year of use, you can see the sole on these Ariat boots is pretty worn down. I just really wanted to get a shot at this. That way, we can definitely compare it whenever we come back and review the Carolinas in six months and a year later. The Carolina boots are pretty pristine right now. They have a nice texturing on the bottom, which the Ariats also had when they were brand new. One thing they do have that the Ariats didn't are these little grooves in the front. Now I work on a lot of slippery, wet, oily surfaces, so this may make a big difference in my line of work. I've worn these boots for two weeks, just here at home on my break, 
just so I could get an idea and also break them in before I go out to work in them. They're definitely more comfortable than these boots. The inside is softer, they feel better on your feet, but with the thickness, I'm worried about how hot they'll be. Be great in the winter time, you know, having that extra thickness, at least for a Texas winter, because this is probably as insulated as we need down here. The sole is hard here, and then soft here, and then hard again here. So I'm worried about this extra squishy part. But if we look, the Ariots have the same thing, and you can see what kind of happens to that extra squishy part. It gets ripped up and tore up pretty good. I said these are composite toe, just like these are composite toe. Even though most of the time you'll hear me refer to them as steel toe, they're not true steel toes. A lot of places really don't care if they're steel toe or not anymore, as long as there's something that's gonna protect your toesies if something smashes on them. And I have had these save me a few times. So I really am looking forward to seeing if these Carolina boots truly will hold up to a year of oil food work. I've done Red Wings, I've done Caterpillar, I've done Justin's, I've done Doc Martin actual work boots. And right now the Ariots have held up the best. The main goal is going to see will these last a year. Are these really built for work like Carolina claims. So I'll see you in six months for a more in-depth review and how these have held up every day. I'm at work. These are going to be on my feet. So until next time, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button down there. And I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace!